New shooter coverage of NAB 2023 is sponsored by B&H and Atomos. Hi, it's Matt here for newshooter.com at NAB 2023. I'm at the Axoon booth. Now this is the new SEMO SDI version, which is, uh, I guess, the next generation on from the HDMI. Just uh, run me through it. Yeah, so this is the SEMO Pro. So the big difference is, as you say, it's SDI as well as HDMI input. And what it does is it takes the output of your camera, which could be any camera with SDI or HDMI, and converts that signal into something that's compatible with iOS. And the sort of immediate application is then to use that as a monitor with your iPhone. So iPhone or iPad. And the beauty of the Apple devices is they're, they're very color accurate. So an iPhone compared with, uh, paired with the SEMO will give you a nice little monitor and then the app that runs that has all the usual tools you expect in a professional monitor like false color, peaking, zebras, pinch to zoom in and all of those things. So it's a really low cost way to get a nice monitor because most people have an iPhone or an iPad somewhere uh, or you could just buy a second hand iPhone because anything from iPhone 8 upwards will work and a really cheap little thing. But where it gets really interesting is because we're now getting that video signal into the iOS infrastructure, is you can do a lot of other things with it other than just monitoring. So the demo we've got going here, we're using the app from ProLight that controls their lights. We're feeding the live feed from the camera into the app. And then we can pick a point within that image and use the brightness and color of that point to control the light. And you'd use this in virtual production and things like that. And we kind of got a poor man's virtual production going here. We've got a big, big TV set. You play your background plate on the big TV set. Your talent is in front of the TV. And then we use the ProLight app with the SEMO device to control the foreground light so that the foreground lighting changes with the background. So if you're doing a car shot or something like that, car goes under the trees, your plate goes under the trees, gets a bit darker, your lighting will go dark with it and it makes that whole virtual production type thing much much more convincing. So this is the Chroma Link app from ProLight and we're feeding using the SEMO a video feed into this application. It's just running on an iPad Pro but it could be an ordinary iPad and what we've got is a Bluetooth connection to one of our lights and then to this light we've assigned a color picker here, this little box. And I can move this around. If I put it up here onto the blue sky, you'll see that the light now turns blue and matches the blue of the sky. If I move it over here, it's now going to follow the changes in that background image. And you'd use this for virtual production and things like that so that your foreground lighting follows what's going on in your background and that makes the virtual production much more convincing, much more realistic. And you can just use a large TV for the background, play your background plate on a big TV and get a really convincing, realistic effect for very little money. And the device is only about $350. So this is a really, really cheap thing and really, really exciting.